We have found us a hot particle. We're near the Unit 5 uh, construction site at the uh, Chernobyl nuclear power plant. And we have dug the hot particle out of this hole, which is no longer hot, and the dirt has been placed over here. And we are looking at this uh, dirt to try to figure out where that particle is. This is a CDV 700 energy compensated tube uh, with the window open at the moment so we can see beta particles. And we're using it with a Ludlum 12 rate meter and uh, attempting to find that hot particle. We have now divided our particle uh, pile down to this size. I mean, it's barely, you can see how large it is from the size of my fingertip. This is my index finger. And yet there is a hot particle in there. And the Geiger counter is still squealing. And we don't know where that particle is, but it's in there. And I wow it. It's right here. It's that little black particle right there, which is absolutely tiny. My, my, my finger is even... That's my pinky. That's my last finger and on my left hand. And we were able to detect it in that... And yet we were hole. able to dig it out of the hole that's over here. We found it with a scintillator, and now we're uh, looking at it with a uh, Geiger counter. And uh, that is... that's very warm. This is the hotel at Chernobyl, run by the Interinform Agency, and we have something very special going on right now. We have brought our uh, hot particle that we collected yesterday back to the hotel. I want to draw your attention to something that is on what looks like a white piece of paper. And you see a Geiger count over here. We're on the times 100 scale with a CDV 700 probe. I'm going to bring the probe over towards the piece of paper. And we can see that number going up to almost 300 and or maybe like 32,000 counts per minute. And on a CDV 700 probe, of course, this means we're reading in the vicinity of uh, 50, maybe almost 60 millirentgens per hour. And just so you see the tube again, it's with the probe closed, so this is gamma radiation. And that's hot. That's a very spicy particle. Now let's see what exactly it is that's making all of that radiation. We have now hooked a scintillation detector, a sodium iodide scintillation detector, up to the Geiger counter. You can see we have about maybe uh, in the vicinity of 100,000 counts per minute. We're on the top range. And we're some distance away from where our hot particle is. And our hot particle is here if you can't see it on the film. And now we've connected a computer sound card to one of the uh, middle stages of the amplifier on the front end of this Ludlum 12 Geiger counter and we are taking the pulses that are uh, generated in the scintillator and we're sending them to the computer. We're doing this in order to uh, categorize the pulses according to their magnitude and perform a rudimentary form of radiation spectroscopy using the computer. So. In order to do this, I have a program called PRA, written by Merrick Dahlheiser, and um, uh, there, that sounds better, in Australia. This is called PRA, and I'm going to acquire pulses.
and we immediately see a pulse height spectrum coming into view in this picture. And I will zoom in to show the features of this spectrum. You can see a large peak here. This happens to be at 660 kilo electron volts and is associated with gamma rays from cesium-137. There is a continuum of Compton scattered gamma rays, including some back scattered gamma rays, also from the source. And there's a little bit of radiation and some other pulses that occur higher than the main peak. This is a very characteristic spectrum of cesium-137. So thanks for watching and if you come to Chernobyl I guarantee you'll have a good time. The accommodations are great. The place is beautiful. Very relaxing. And yes, there are hot particles and you can give your Geiger counter a real workout.